Today on the channel, we celebrate the greatest sub-team in the universe with the true leader of G.I. Joe, the leader of Tiger Force, the Target exclusive, Flint. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a special one. We got my all-time favorite. We got the Target exclusive Tiger Force Flint. But for all your G.I. Joe needs that are not Target exclusives, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get the deal out there. And Tiger Force Flint, an all-timer. An all-timer of a figure. When I was a little kid, I had the original Flint figure. I wore that thing out. Flint was in a lot of battles. Saw a lot of time in the uh, foreign wars. All kinds of stuff. Fighting against Cobra. Fighting against Destro. Major Blood. Dreadnoughts. You name it. He was on the front lines continuously fighting. Unfortunately, one day his O-ring snapped and I was just... Oh, I fell. I crumbled. I couldn't believe what happened. Flint was a half a body for a while in my fig fed. That's what he had to do. I didn't have, couldn't have it together. So it was tough, tough times. It was hardest of times for little Kyle. But then a magical thing happened shortly after. I want to say it was like a week or two. It was very, very short time frame. Go to Target one day, much like this day and age. Go to Target. Who do I see? This Tiger Force team. And I see my man Flint back with the vengeance with some new colors. And we got that going on here today. What is old is new again. And man, I am here for it. I am here for this all day long. And of course, all day long, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I am absolutely shocked it took this long to get Flint in the Tiger Force gear. We just recently, Tunnel Rat, of course, just started hitting the stores, hitting the streets, whatever you want to call it. Check out the review on the channel. Uh, but then here we are like a week later, Walmart is announcing a Night Force version of Tunnel Rat. I truly thought Flint would be at the top of the Tiger Force list, but it's all good things come to those that wait, as they do say. So they wanted to get him out here. And it was so cool that I got to see the debut of Tiger Force Flint at San Diego Comic-Con this year. I was here for it all day long. Not everybody liking this one, though. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Well, I can. Uh, some people don't like the face paint on this one. So we got to get down to it. But you guys know, if you've watched this channel for a long time, what is Kyle like? I like big figures. I like face paint. I like masks. I like colorful tattoos. And I like hairy bipedal creatures. So this is playing a lot of hits for me here with the face paint and it being my boy Flint and it being Tiger Force. All day long. All day long. But let's take a look at the packaging on this one. There's old Flint in all of his glory doing Flint things on the front, leading from the front lines like a true leader does, as we do know. Uh, on the background, you get that little convertible there. It reminds me of the old Reckon uh, wrestling convertible from Mattel a couple years back. It was that Lady J's or Baroness's. I always think it's Baroness's. I always think of her taking a swim and the Dreadnoughts thinking she's somebody else. Then they realize, or no, that was Zarana. That was Zarana, not Baroness. Uh, maybe it's Lady J's then. I think it was Lady J's, actually. I don't know, but we got a red convertible in the background there. It's been a long time. We got the accessories band up top. Another glamour shot of Flint. G.I. Joe classified series looking good. Then there's the man ready to take on all comers. Bring on a Nemesis Enforcer. He's not going to say what's a Nemesis Enforcer. He just say, let me, she, let me see him. Lead me to him. Lead me to him. I'll take him on. I'm not scared of anything. Uh, number 89 right there in the line. 89 is old Tiger Force Flint. We need Desert Flint ne uh, next. The Desert Flint will be a good one. And then uh, how about the Eco Warrior Flint? Give me Eco Warrior Flint next. Uh, I'm here for that as well. On the back of the package, there's Flint in all of his glory. You got a little uh, highlight of some of his accessories, some of that kind of stuff. A ton of jibber-jabber down here. I just think it talks about Flint and all the good deeds he's done over the years. I'm sure that's what it says. But we're getting Flint out of the package. We're going to see what truly all the fuss is about. And let me tell you, there's fuss. See you later. Little spin on it. Flint. That's just what it says right there. And I really wanted to name my dog Ace Flint, too. But my wife wouldn't have any of it. It was terrible. It was terrible. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Uh, but Flint, number 89, of course. We've seen these lockers in the past. Got a little Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Parchment paper. What do we got? What kind of surprises are in here in store? 
Oh, I love it already. I see something really cool. Bam! See you later. Flint, not messing around. Not messing around at all with these accessories this time. I guess we'll go through this first and we'll dive into the Flint figure. We get the old trusty uh, rifle here. He had this, of course, before, as we do know. Got the little hinge on it, so it hinges down. Very cool here. Got the little green pump on it instead of brown this time. Bullets on the side, looking good. Looking like Flint, and this will fit in his little uh, holster in his back, as we do know. Does come with this pistol once again. He's got the little uh, pistol here in case uh, things really go down. A little closer combat. He'll just bam, bam, shoot you in the leg or something like that. Then we get a cool one here, very Rakondo esque You got the uh, bandages kind of uh, taped over the top there on the black and on the handle there, looking really good, all black weapon. Got the hole in the end so you can put some effect pieces if you want to, but a little different uh, weapon for Flint here. He's got a little of that going on there. Now, no backpack for Flint there. I will mention that as well. Oh, I do see a magazine. Oh, look at this. And of course, true Flint, it is muscle and fitness because Flint, just a peak performance, peak uh, specimen of the human being, of the human race, I should say. He's ready to go. So he's got a copy of Muscle Fitness right here. He's going to pop that in there right into that weapon. So he's ready to go. Then Flint, not messing around. He's even got a big old knife on him here. Like a young crocodile Dundee. Flint's got this. I don't know if he needs to chop some heads off, chop some trees. I don't know what he needs to do, but he's going to win whatever way he does it. Black handle, silver blade. Looking good here for that all day long. And then we get the iconic beret here, the brown beret. Got the green Tiger Force emblem at the top. Oh, playing all the hits right here. Tiger Force leader. Love the beret for old Flint there. Get the old scissors here. And he's got the old ropes. The ropes tying him down here. We're going back and forth between twisty tie things and ropes. But there is old Flint and all of his Tiger Force glory. Oh, man. Oh, man. And I'm ready for a retro Flint, too. I talked about the Eco Warriors. Talked about the Desert One. I'm ready for uh, the retro one, for the Walmart, which I guess they're no longer just Walmart. They're for everywhere now. Uh, so that is good, and the packaging is going to be better. But there it is. See you later, Flint. Uh, but I'm here for that. A retro Flint would be a very nice one. That would, that would be very welcomed if we could get that going. We get Flint straightened out here, and oh boy, what is old is new again. As, of course, this is a repaint of Flint, and Flint looking real good here. Looking real good. Uh, basically the same kind of stuff we got with the original Flint. I'm sure you all own it. If you don't, what are you doing? Go get that Flint. But just different color scheme. Instead of like the greens, you got more of a, a pale green, a pea green, something like that. You got the brownish orange shirt underneath with the tiger stripes looking good. Uh, just definitely looks like Flint all day long. I guess some people do say they don't like the head on Flint, but I think a lot of that comes down to the beret. Like he does feel weird. It doesn't feel quite like Flint until you put that beret on him. I mean, especially when you were a kid, that's how you iconic remember Flint he never had the beret off so definitely once you put that beret on him it just really does become Flint for me here and I love it and I love Flint so there you go now Flint's head here the same head going on he's got a very uh, hip haircut these days shaved on the sides long on the top even a little bit of length back there as well so Flint looking good looking good for the ladies and Lady J too uh, you do got the face paint. That's where the business really picks up. The biggest difference to me in this figure is the head on this. Uh, you got the face paint over the eyes there. It looks like he's in the jungle getting some mud over there, like uh, Arnold versus Predator, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but looking good. Stoic face on Flint. That's the one thing on Flint. Not a big sense of humor. He, he did jokes around from time to time, but man, he's all business. He's all business. He's saving the world left and right. He's not letting things like nepotism getting in the way. You know, I'm going to bring in my brother, and we'll see what happens. He's not really settled for this. This, but we're going to get him in there. I'm going to use my official rank and I'm going to get him in there. And then guess what? He's going to get the whole world destroyed basically just by doing that. And Flint, uh, of course, during all this, leading from the front lines, going out there, taking on Cobra Law, taking on all those guys, finding Roblox at the end, really saving the whole galaxy is really what he did there. Well, Duke, of course, having to help get his uh, brother court-martialed, uh, you know, Bazooka, Alpine, we almost lost some good men that day. We'll never forget that time. Uh, and then, of course, getting himself pretty, pretty much killed by Serpentor and his arrow. What are we doing, Duke? What are we Just step aside. Step aside. Let Flint be in charge. Come on. What are we doing here? Anyways, Flint looking good. Arms go all the way around. A little butterfly action there. Not a ton. You got the side to side at the bicep. Double jointed elbows. Unfortunately, not pinless. Oh, I long for the day for pinless jointed Flint. Give me that all day long. Trigger finger right there. Got a little uh, watch band, whatever you want to call it there, in green. Hands back forth, side to side. Traditional waist articulation. No real ab crunch on this one. He's got the big old vest, of course, going there. You do get the big old flint splits. Of course, a gymna gymnast in a foreign life, I think, or another life going on. Looking good. You got the drop-down hips. 
thigh cut of course, double jointed knees, boot cut, ankles back forward, side to side, up and down, you got a hole in the foot, Willie fit on a ringside collectible stand, use discount code KYLE, make sure you get the Mattel stands which are currently out of stock, hopefully back sooner rather than later, but of course he fits on the stand, looking good there, old Flint, looking nice, got the beret, fits just so right. I'm here for this all day long, as you can imagine. I forgot to mention, he's got the holsters on the side. you got the spot for his pistol here. Then you got a spot for the big old knife on the side. I love that. And we talked about this briefly. you got the spot for his uh, first weapon, his first weapon in the back here. And then you hold the new weapon in his hand. So all's right in the world. Everything does store on Flint. Missing that iconic backpack, though. That is a little... I would have liked to seen that. Maybe if we get the retro one, he will have that. We'll see what happens. But it is the true leader of Tiger Force, the true leader of G.I. Joe. And sometimes your rank doesn't mean you're the leader. Of course, we've seen that in our own jobs day to day. We've all had a boss that's like, he's not the real boss. I look over to Joe over here. He's doing things. He's leading by example. This boss isn't doing things. And that's where Flint comes in. Everybody looked to Flint. They, you know, they acknowledged uh, Duke and, and Hawk, a true leader there. But he's way above. He's way above. I'm talking about field leader out there in the, out there in the salt mines. That's Flint. That's not Duke. It's not Duke. And then we got the Flint regular edition right here. Man, a yin and yang that you can set your watch to all day long and even twice on Sunday, I do believe. Somebody can fact check that if they want to. But very similar, but very different. You got the, Go the G.I. Joe GoPros on both sides. A lot of reuse going on, of course, and that's what the Tiger Force is about. Being a Target exclusive, all that kind of fun stuff. But man, I'm here for it. I'm biased. I love me some Flint. Keep the Flint coming, Hasbro. I'll buy every single one. That's exactly what I'll do, and that's just what I did right here. So there's Flint, Tiger Force leader. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the other channel while you're at it. Turn on the old notification bell. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. All going on over there, the old Patreon channel, and it is truly the best way to support the channel and all the content it does bring. You can all support the channel over there at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and Instagram. So for Tiger Force, Target Stores, and Flint, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.